this is something that we are just going to receive pushback on. It alarms people, they don't understand it. They think that there's so many negatives to it because they lack knowledge and they lack understanding and sometimes they lack an open mind. The other thing is sometimes their priorities are not where our priorities are. Dealing with people's feedback about carnivore or animal-based or whatever I'm implementing for my food really gets really annoying. I wanna talk about how exactly to handle that because if you guys are anything like me and you are implementing carnivore or animal-based in your life, I'm sure you've gotten a lot of pushback just like I have on this. So okay, the first thing I wanna say is that we cannot truly be true to ourselves while trying to be everything to everyone else. That was a hard learned lesson for me. It's ingrained in us to be part of a community, to be accepted by people, to be seen by people as somebody to look up to or to belong to their tribe. We wanna, we wanna feel like we belong. And so for us to do something so dramatic as to change our food and our lifestyle habits, and then we receive that pushback, it feels, honestly, it just feels bad. Awkward and weird and now I have to like, kind of wonder what they're thinking about it or what they're thinking about me. And I come from a history of having an eating disorder, so there's even like more attention on me, you know? It's like just this last weekend when I had a friend out here, she experienced all of that time with me and was very present and like such a good friend to me when I had an eating disorder. But for her to see me now, seeing that only is like, is there meat in my fridge? Is a red flag for her, really fairly a red flag for her. I receive a lot of pushback about going carnivore slash animal based and, and implementing this lifestyle because it seems like a red flag. From other people, coworkers, you know, I even had a coworker today who said uh, that they had wondered if I had an eating disorder because of the fact that I just eat meat and kind of said it jokingly, but like, you know, when there's like a little bit of truth to a joke, honestly, it was rude, but one of those things where I was just like, mm, we'll just let that slide by. So there's a lot of things, right, where Somebody sees that we're doing carnivore or animal-based and they are thrown off by it. It looks like it's weird. It looks like it's too extreme. It looks like it's um, an eating disorder. It looks like it's crazy. It looks like we're following a cult. It looks like we're part of a community, a community of people who doesn't know what they're doing and X, Y, and Z and all those things. I'm sure you guys have a bajillion other things you can add to that. Not to mention, I'm sure everybody is used to the old version of ourselves that used to be a little bit more relaxed with the type of food that we would eat. So getting that pushback is heavy. I feel like it comes in hot and, and, and heavy on us. And so a lot of times there's a small to no crowd on the leading edge, meaning the thing that's actually going to help the most people or be the most beneficial usually only has a small, few people at the very beginning who are pushing for it. The way I look at it, you guys, is the same way I look at the, the fact that I gave up alcohol and stopped drinking when I was 25 or 26 years old. When I decided to stop drinking five years ago, the culture was 1000% different. There was no one online talking about life without drinking. There, were no, there was nothing but AA out there. There were no community groups. There were hardly any women's groups. I looked. I wasn't a, an alcoholic by social standards but I am somebody who should not drink for sure. And so by giving it up, I was going completely against the, against the grain and talk about being somebody who was alone in that experience, getting a lot of pushback from it. When you're 25, the only thing that people do is drink. So that's an experience I had at that time where it was very similar to what I'm experiencing now with carnivore and animal base. What I will say about that is not drinking was hands down 100% the best thing I've ever done for myself and my health. I wasn't a crazy alcoholic. Don't mean that insultingly. I just mean that from what people perceive of it. I wasn't somebody who drank every single night. I wasn't somebody who, you know, had DUIs or anything like that. But giving it up opened up an entire world of potential for me in all categories, literally every single one. And so I look at carnivore and animal base and I see that right now it is like new. It is weird. Just like Five years ago, not drinking was weird, but here we are today. And this concept of not drinking is actually pretty normal. It's actually picked up in a lot of places. I don't know where you are. It might be different where you are. Maybe if you're like the Midwest, it's a little bit different, but the, the, the states on the outskirts have totally picked up on this lifestyle of not drinking. And so with carnivore, this is something that we are just going to receive pushback on. 
or animal based. We're just gonna receive pushback on it because people, it's it alarms people, they don't understand it, and they think that there's so many negatives to it because they lack knowledge and they lack understanding, and sometimes they lack an open mind. But the other thing is sometimes their priorities are not where our priorities are. Maybe their priorities are in another place that we can't relate to and vice versa. So like for me, you know, trying to do more of an animal-based carnivore lifestyle, I have given up a lifestyle of finding the best restaurants to go to all the time. Do I do it here and there? Absolutely, I go out to restaurants and I live my life, but I don't go out to restaurants like I used to. I used to go and get nachos every single night at my favorite restaurant just down the street before I did carnivore and animal-based. And that looks alarming to people. And that's, that's not always something that's well received by people. The thing is though, I don't want to spend money on medical bills. I want to look good. I want to feel good. I want to feel full. I want to feel great the next day. I don't want to be bloated and all those other things. That's where my priorities lie. And so for somebody else who doesn't have that same mindset, they're not going to understand what we're doing and what you're doing. They're not going to get it. And I think that's just something we have to accept. And I think that's something that we need to go into this with. Again, there's never a crowd on the leading edge. I believe that in a few years time, carnivore is going to be the next magic pill. I really believe that because there's so many people out there that are benefiting from it. And there's so many stories and so much data that's coming out about this now that's proving why heart disease and diabetes is so flipping prevalent with seed oils and with sugars and all of the processed foods and everything else that we have. In time, this will become something that's much bigger than it is now. For right now though, we have to accept that people just aren't gonna get it. And I think having that mindset and understanding why you and I am doing this, what our priorities are, is the main point. What are the values that we stand by? You know, what are the main things that we're trying to get out of this? That's the mindset to have. You know, maybe it's, I wanna be a better mom, or I want to play with my kids as a dad, or maybe it's, you know, I've been the fat kid my whole life and I don't wanna be the fat kid anymore. Or maybe it's, I have crazy psoriasis and I can't even bear it by a pair of shorts. Like when I was younger, I had such bad eczema that I don't even think I owned a pair of shorts outside of my soccer shorts until I was in eighth grade. That's how bad my eczema was. I don't have any eczema at all anymore now that I do animal-based and carnivore lifestyle. And so I can, I can empathize with that. You know, whatever the value is, for you and for me is how we have to kind of position ourselves for the day for receiving that feedback from people. And it's just gonna have to happen. We almost have to expect it for this time right now. It all kind of comes in waves. It's sort of like fashion, you know, where things kind of are cyclical. I believe that carnivore is just in that starting phase where things are starting to pick up. But to the majority of the society, people who implement this lifestyle look super intense and super crazy sometimes. But you know what? I can speak to the results. I can speak to my health, how I feel, how I act, how I look, how healthy I am. And that's all that really matters. So if you are struggling with this, if this is something that you have been dealing with, just understand your values. Know that there's never a crowd on the leading edge understand that your goals and your priorities are probably a lot different from theirs and that's okay. And just know that probably in time, this is going to get much, much bigger. And by that point in time, we might even be the people that just knew about it first. And how, you know, how cool is that? I hope this helped you guys. I know this was something that people have been talking about a lot. I've seen the comments about this. If you guys did like it, please like it so other people who might need to see this can see it. I love, love, love talking about all things human optimization, exploration, and life hacks. I'll be having on somebody pretty soon to talk about their near-death experience. And I will also be having somebody on soon to talk about space and what's going on in the space exploration world. We're all about trying new things here. If you guys are interested in this kind of stuff, go ahead and subscribe below or comment. I'd love to see it or follow me on Instagram and message me there. That's where I find more personal comments. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna stop talking now. It was great seeing you and I will talk to you guys on the next one. All right, see ya.